there may not be anything such a thing as time except in consciousness. In other words, outside of consciousness, there may not be a flow of time. Time may exist, but not in terms of flowing in a direction. There may be only this now, this individual now, and then maybe another now and another now and another now, and we connect them through memory and so forth. But outside of consciousness, there may not be a flow of time. So the laws of physics allow time symmetry, reversibility, and so forth. The way I think of it is that consciousness gives our classical world a flow of time, but in the quantum world, time doesn't flow, and therefore we can, from our perspective in the classical world, or at the edge between the classical world and the quantum world, time seems to be going backwards. Now, for example, in the classical, well, in the quantum, in the historical EPR experiments, in which you have two particles that are in superposition and entangled, and you send one over this, this way and one over this way, and make a measurement here, this one instantaneously reduces to the complementary uh, uh, situation. So there's some kind of instantaneous communication, which would be faster than the speed of light and prevented by relativity. So what a number of people have suggested, Ben Schumacher, Roger Penrose, and others, that the information here goes backwards in quantum, the quantum information goes backwards in time to when the particles were unified, and then forward in time to bring the quantum information. Now, going backwards in time is a problem uh, in terms of causal paradox, because if you could go backwards in time, you could go back and kill your grandfather and you wouldn't be born. But quantum information doesn't really convey that sort of, inf that sort of signal. It's more of a correlation. It's more of a qualifying modification of classical information. So I think it's, it plays a role in consciousness in terms of modifying information and making it conscious. You know, there are many things that the brain does um, that, that we do that the, the perceptions seem to take longer to occur in the brain, and we've already responded to them. Rapid conversation. You say something, and before my brain has actually processed and come to conscious realization of what you said, I've already responded. Hitting a baseball at 90 miles an hour is physically impossible according to the perception time in the brain, and yet people do it. There are many illusions that, that occur that, where the brain seems to know in advance what will happen. Ben Libet's famous experiments also suggested that subconscious information goes backwards in time. So quantum information, when I say quantum information goes backwards in time, you could say equivalently that in the quantum world there is no such thing as the flow of time and that in the classical world we have the illusion of a flow of time due, due to consciousness ratcheting forward and with a sequence of nows that follow one another.